reason we actually wanted you to stop by lunchtime so you could you could bless us, Tyrell mm -hmm. and I, you could actually bless us with with your legendary status and of course a whole lot of wisdom. Right. And uh, we already see our social media going crazy. There are people that are like, that are like oh, he's already coming to the studio. What time is he coming? I have to listen, I have to listen. Because a lot of people are curious. Calm down, people. <laughs> a lot of people are curious as to exactly where you've been. I've been everywhere, actually. Okay. Um, you know, as a man of many parts, um, you have to keep going with the time. Yes. Um, I do my shows. Okay. I, I run my studio. Uh, find time to also do my TV contents mm -hmm. and uh, find time to have some rest for myself. So it's, it's, it's always very tight for me. You see how long it took us yes. before we make this appointment. And you're always on the road. You know. You travel a lot. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be out again. <laughs> Can you? Okay, wow. thank God we got you today. That's why I said today, <laughs> it's got to be today. It's got to be today. <laughs> because sometimes you also leave, something comes up last minute and you have to Yes, go. that's right. That's, well, that's right. good though. Mm. So you're highly busy. Very, very, still very busy. active. Very, very busy. Now, you've actually made a few reservations about today's industry. Mm -hmm. The music industry that mm -hmm. you, we knew then mm -hmm. and uh, the industry that we have now. Mm -hmm. What are your reservations about the industry? My reservation is that, unfortunately, we're still placing the entertainment industry as uh, an industry of laughter and fun. Okay. You know, and um, until we can actually have our stuff at the stock exchange, where people can know that it is indeed a very serious sector. Okay. Uh, America today is America because of the power of the industry. Mm -hmm. That is the entertainment industry. I'm talking about movie and music now and okay. all other literary arts. But unfortunately, Nigeria, we just feel that oil is only what we know. You ah. know, yeah. So um, now the oil is drying up. Hmm. I wonder what we're gonna be you know, <laughs> doing. So, unlike, 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 unlike the talents, the talents don't dry up. Yeah. Because, yeah. because, yeah, because you, as one is going down, you have other ones coming up. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, we are refusing to uh, really look into that particular sector. You go to the bank right now, send a one alone. They're gonna tell me it's a high risk venture, so they don't go to that area. I you don't blame them. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because there are no data statistics that you can look at. If you want to uh, prepare your proposal, for example, right, um, yeah. the bank wants to see everything in black and white. You know, why do you want me to give you this kind of money? Mm -hmm. I put everything in black and white, and he has statistics to, you know, to confirm everything I've told him. Right. Um, I grew up in this country doing this business, knowing that before you can be a star, you must be reckoned with a number of CDs or albums you have sold. Mm. And that's so everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. So to know your might and strength, you say, uh, Oris Suliki, who has sold about 3 million records. Congratulations. I mean, that's that's the way it should be. Yes. But today, um, you, you cannot say any of the artists that you see today to say, oh, yeah, um, mention the name. You, you don't have the data to know how many CDs they have sold. Mm. Okay. You don't have it. Yeah. So how do you prepare a proposal towards that? <clears throat> the answer is no, because you have no data, no data to, to back it up. So... We only thank God because of the um the the, the telecom, you know, the mm -hmm. corporate bodies who are uh, giving us some good endorsements, you okay. know. That is what is keeping the industry. If you take that off, we're done. Come to think of it. So yeah. we're lacking structure. Yes, we don't have structure. We don't have structure. And we used to back in the We used to have them. Would you say right? the um uh in the industry of back then yeah. compared to now, uh in terms of profitability. Yeah. Uh Today's industry is more profitable. Oh, no. a, lot, a lot more people are making money no, on the surface. from music no, on as the surface. opposed to... No, okay. no, no. I disagree yeah. with you. That's on the surface. Don't forget this business is called show business. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what you are seeing is a show. Okay. A lot of I, hypes. A lot of hypes. Lot of yeah, a lot of hypes on the airwaves. And so if you follow that, you never get the truth. Okay. You understand? So... Uh, you want to say, okay, um, uh, let me not mention my kid's name now. Mm -hmm. um, you're popular. Um, uh, okay, how many CDs have you sold? No records. He doesn't even know how. He has not sold CDs, actually. So <laughs> remove, remove, remove the, 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 the glow. Uh, I don't need information. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's okay. You know, uh, remove the glow and the MTN and Airtel uh, endorsement. What do you have? Nothing. Okay. Nothing, because they are the same people who are the people doing some shows today where you do not actually uh, need a band 
unlike our days mm -hmm. where you you must have a, a full set of band okay. to play on stage. Yeah, okay. And so you come to stage, you say, "Oh, DJ track what? And he's alone <laughs> on stage. You know, so why do you why do you call it a concert? Because you invited people to say, okay, come to the concert, you're gonna watch me, you know, the way you've never seen before. Okay, yes. and so you come to stage, you see me jumping on my CD. Whereas you have the CD at home, you have the video at home, I could have watched that and be satisfied, but you invited me to come <laughs> watch the show. No, I'm just saying we're analyzing now. So um, uh, the same companies are the people that are, you know, actually bringing that okay. to the to the people. So if you remove them, there is no industry. Hmm. There is no industry. Well, if you were to pick a favorite artist right now, one of the the new generation artists, hmm. who do you actually like? No, I love some few of them. Okay, such as uh, for one reason okay. or the other. Okay, let's take the video for example. Uh -huh. The video is like my son. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, why everybody was doing the copycat thing, you know. Um, he was not trying to sound like an American. Okay. He knew where he was coming from. He took our normal uh, high life music mm. and created, you know, a sound of his own. And everybody is playing like him now. If you if you if you if you if you if you play Skelewu, remove yes. the voices, let's go with the with the percussions. Any other song today can fit in it. Mm. And so he's been able to create a direction for himself which everybody is copying. Okay. Okay, so for originality, yes. I take the video number one. Okay. Okay. Yaya yeah, is my son too. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he has he has those powerful voice capabilities. I don't think he's utilizing them enough yet. Mm. What I think he should be doing is to look for serious songs. Okay. You know, look for a songwriter, good songwriters that can actually um, uh, give him the opportunity to explore the vocal prowess that he is blessed with. Okay. You know, not uh, this most more thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's <laughs> important. Oreo. Yeah, it's important because um, okay. this is 30 years over mm. in, my, in, in, my, in my career as a performer. Yes. All right? Uh, when I look back, I, I heard you play Jawas just now. Yes. For me, it's like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I feel that touched really because I know the mood I was in, mm -hmm. I know the realm I was in when I wrote that song. And so I should be proud when I'm 90 year old, where my grandchildren or great grandchildren sit around me. I say, "Oh, pa, you know, you did a good job." When he was, mm -hmm. I asked one of my kids, you know, I don't want to mention his name also. I said, "Okay, look at this thing you are saying in your contents as lyrics. Do you know at 90 year old when your 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 children, your grandchildren come around you, I say, Grandpa, did you actually say that? Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of what you're going to present to them because." Right. You now remember that you know you, you you know those words. Yeah. Those words are not words that kids you you know should be you know listening to. So when they start asking you every now and then, how will you feel? Mm -hmm. So you should be proud of what you are putting out there because it's supposed to inspire the people. Mm -hmm. uh, not just dance. Yes, you can dance without the mm, yeah. you know uh, contents. You know, so you should be free with that. But do we, uh, as listeners, yeah. mass consumers of music yeah. uh have some blame to bear because yes you do in a way these people put out content based off what they're just trying to blow no you do have, that's what they're trying to you, do and you do have a blame let me tell you why okay uh that is why you have the nbc okay, mm -hmm. okay. yeah that's why you have them so they are supposed to be monitoring you know what contents you put out now let's do it let's do a simple analysis if you uh Tara, and um, my dear uh, sister here decided to say, okay, Inspiration FM, from now on, we are going to play strictly high life for the next six months. Okay. And uh, other stations, five, six, seven other stations saying that's only what they want to be playing high life. I bet you in the next two months, every creativity you are going to have the mm. children doing will be high life of different versions. So we have a role different. to play. Yeah. yeah, a big role to play. <laughs> so, but you see, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. what you are doing now that, what you were doing that you're not doing now is this. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh, while we were at the top of our games, mm -hmm. there was Shino Peters. Yes. Sir. He was playing what? Afro Juju. Afro Juju. Mm -hmm. There was Kwam Won. Mm -hmm. He was playing what? Would you? Okay. There was Rice Kimono. There was Rice Kimono. Reggae. He was playing reggae. Yes. There was. Um, uh, there was um, you know Mandators it was yes, reggae, reggae. Mm -hmm. and you have people like Chris Sumba mm -hmm. they were doing High Life and you have Oliver the Cope yes. and they were all doing High Life yeah, but the interesting thing was that you had a Christy Bokwe or Nyeka Weni mm -hmm. all doing their own stuff too 
but everybody was at par yes. because they were equally played on the airwaves. And there was no competition. There was no competition. Yes. Everybody had a space. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, you don't do that anymore. If you do, not at equal par, mm. you know. So, therefore, when you play a particular brand over and above all others, the youth listening, that's what they will follow. Mm. Remember some few years ago, there was Sukus everywhere. Sukus take over Nigeria like a True. storm. Because that's what we were hearing in our airways. So we're guilty. Until myself wow. and Charlie Boy started shouting. No, we took the battle to them. <laughs> oh, no. We, we, that's when we became uh, the executive, the escort for Pima and then. Right. We were worried because we, we, our bands were no longer you know, having jobs. You have all the bands in uh, uh, Congo Republic. All of them in Zai. All of them were in Lagos. Mm. 